Sepsis is a severe medical condition defined as a dysregulated systemic inflammatory response to infection, leading to tissue damage, organ failure, and potentially death. It arises when the body's response to an infection becomes extreme, attacking its own tissues and organs. Sepsis is known as one of the most costly conditions treated in hospitals across the United States due to its significant resource demands and the intensive care required for patients. While sepsis can affect anyone, certain groups are more susceptible, including older adults, people with comorbidities like cancer, chronic lung disease, and heart failure, and individuals with impaired immune function. The condition often starts suddenly and requires immediate medical attention for a better chance at recovery. Sepsis cases have surged in recent years, a trend exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Data from the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality showed that sepsis-related hospitalizations have increased by a striking 72% from 1.8 million cases to 2.5 million. The pandemic played a significant role in the surge, contributing to increased hospital admissions, in-hospital mortality rates, and the overall cost of sepsis care. The report titled, An Assessment of Sepsis in the United States and Its Burden on Hospital Care, highlighted the profound impact of COVID-19 on healthcare systems, emphasizing that patients with a COVID-19 diagnosis were particularly prone to developing severe sepsis. The analysis conducted by AHRQ also underscored considerable disparities and variations in sepsis cases across different demographic and geographic groups. Vulnerable populations such as older adults, individuals with multiple health conditions, and those living in socially disadvantaged communities were disproportionately affected. Additionally, state and regional differences revealed significant variability in hospital utilization, associated costs, and sepsis-related mortality rates. Such disparities point to the need for targeted public health strategies to ensure more equitable healthcare access and outcomes. Most sepsis-related hospitalizations began in emergency departments, highlighting the importance of early recognition and prompt treatment to reduce the burden on the healthcare system. The AHRQ report called for continued investment in quality improvement programs and enhanced surveillance systems to improve sepsis care and patient outcomes. Addressing the rising number of sepsis cases will require a concerted effort from federal, state, and non-governmental entities to bolster access to evidence-based treatments and resources. Strengthening these efforts could mitigate the financial and human toll associated with sepsis, ultimately improving healthcare systems' resilience and effectiveness in managing such critical conditions. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.